the past year, we've had the pleasure of having the best Trump impersonator in the business join us in the studio and on the phone. Let's take a look at some highlights. Would you say Iowa is your favorite state in the union? Uh, that's that's a tough one. That's like asking me my favorite wife. You know, that's a very <laughs> difficult question. I hear that your kids can't vote for you because uh, they didn't register for the New York primary in time. Yes, that that is true. Ivanka won't be voting for me, and, and I have to tell you, Tom, it's a shame because I, I have to say I voted for her every year to be Trump Magazine's sexiest woman alive. <laughs> Rand Paul comes at you pretty hard, right? What do you think of that? He does. You know, you know, Rand Paul is such a tool. Ben Carson tried to use him to kill his mother. If I do not win the nomination, I will make America riot again. And these are going to be, these, I have to tell you, these will make the L.A. riots look like powder puff football. A very masculine, manly, very attractive hands. Mm -hmm. And I use them, if you know what I mean. I, I don't know what you mean, sir. What, what do you mean? I doubt that. I use them in conversation. <laughs> jo joining us now, the performer oh beneath God. the wig, John D. Domenico. Uh, Johnny, you're laughing at the uh, the bits. Do you remember these? <laughs> yes, I remember them. <laughs> this has been a great year. This all these appearances have been fantastic. Now, uh, has your fee? Have you doubled your fee? Tripled your fee? Oh, I've quadrupled the fee. Yeah. <laughs> it's, just, it's gone through the rooftop. It's really just tremendously much higher than it was before. I'm now, presidential now. Well, I take credit on Red Eye, but I mean, have we yeah. done? Have we done? Uh, you know, raised your profile? Here on oh, the you show? did. I think I think being on this show is what got me on Conan. <laughs> you know? That's, oh, it's a very stepping stone. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> and because of this and the Trump cast and and so many other, because you know you provided me with this you know this great platform and that kind of got me out there early on because you were the, I mean you were the first one. There we uh, go. More than a year more than a year ago. Always a first mm -hmm. here on yeah. Red Eye uh, on Trump. <laughs> the pundits. Missed it. And we've had guests in here all year mm -hmm. laughing at Trump, saying he has no chance. Uh, did you miss it? Oh, no. I was on, I was on Channel 4 in Britain, uh, and we were right in front of the White House. And they asked me, well, tr uh, who do you think will win? I said, Trump. And I said, he'll win in a landscape. Now, why? Why did you think? Because I've been on the road for a year performing in, in front of audiences anywhere from, you know, 500 to 5,000 people doing events. And I... I would I do this bit where I say, okay, who wants to ruin the country and vote for crooked Hillary Clinton? And we're like, <laughs> yeah. And then I say, okay, okay, great, okay, nobody, fantastic. Who wants to vote for me to make America great again? And overwhelmingly, it was always for Trump. And people would say, well, well they're, they're Trump, they're Trump audiences. But no, no, they're not. They're corporate audiences around the country, and sometimes they're public audiences. And it was always overwhelmingly Trump. And I spotted that trend a while ago and also, you know, met people in hotels and would do photo ops afterwards and they would lean into me and say, I'm voting for you. <laughs> for you. They are saying it yeah. to the impersonator. Yeah. And I, would say, and I would say, you realize I'm not him. Right? <laughs> but, you know, they were, they were just so excited. One of the things about Trump, I think a lot of people miss this, they're really excited about him. Even for me as an impersonator, they were like, you know what I mean? We, like Elvis. We, yeah. They, 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 we, we love you. Yeah. We, and they just want to tell somebody about it. So you tell this, I'm, I'm almost like a conduit to him, which I'm, you know, which I'm not, but that's what it was like. And I would, people would tell me things and, you know, you got a lot crooked Hillary up and you got you to win this. And it was, it, was, it was fascinating, but I spotted this a while back and I was like, there's no way this is just, this is coincidence. This is really, this is like a trend. Have you done any gigs since the election? Yes, I did too. Any sensitivity at all now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, in, in today's audience this morning in Atlantic City was trial lawyers, which was probably not the best audience I could have been in front of at any time. But I did this group last year, and I killed. And this morning, not so much. No, I, <laughs> not they're they're a little bit rough. Sensitive. They were might take some time. Yeah. They haven't uh, yeah. come to grips. Uh, a yeah. little trivia. People don't realize we started together in 1992. Yep. And I have this on my bookshelf at home. Do we have the picture of the uh, play? We started in an off-Broadway, off-off-Broadway. Off-off-Broadway show. Babes and Brides. Let's look inside the cover. The original cast. See that? Alan Thomas Shalou, John D. Domenico, and look at Ellen. Julie Bowen. Julie from Bowen. Modern Family. Yes. Yeah. That was a... Uh, a there she is. Look at it. Now, how, why is she held up so well, and, and you and I? <laughs> I'm, just because I'm, I'm looking at myself thinking, I look like Uncle Fester. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> I had hair at one point. Have you been doing any uh, uh, Joe Pantoliano? Any? <laughs> it was such a big coffin. <laughs> okay, thank you, Johnny D. Uh,